to put take this off they really like ta I don't know if you guys can see that but there's like a tape right there and they really taped it on close so ooh, I think maybe what I'll do ooh, okay um this probably will be an episode two of my Meyer haul slash try on situation and then I'll kind of maybe like put in a little video of how I did these little bantu knots on my head and put that on there because I think that will be kind of cool for people to see no I don't know <laughs> Okay, so basically what I'm going to show you guys is how I do bantu knots on my head and then also I may later on show you how it looks like after. Maybe that will be in another clip, but for right now I'm just going to show you how I do bantu knots. So yes, so all you guys that are watching won't think I look crazy, but for all y'all that has natural hair, you already know. Also, I understand my hair is super crazy right now. So, I just washed it and blow dried it, and I am just combing it out at the moment. This is my hair. This is all of my hair. Wait, but what I am gonna, you're gonna see me doing is you're gonna see me like do the root sum so that it'll be like a little bit smoother in the roots area. But I'm not gonna really worry too much about flat ironing really all of the hair and if I do it'll only be like a small pass there or something like that just so when I take out the bantu knots later it'll be coils that are kind of smoother and sleeker and stuff like that but okay so I'm just going to speed this up and you guys can watch me how I do it so yeah <laughs> Later on, like two or one more day later, I will take them out and my hair should be curly. I'm going to take this Fructis hair straight and I'm going to lightly spray my hair. <laughs> and so, yeah, that is it. But so, I am going to... What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use the NYX concealer first. So I'm just going to put this on areas where I feel like um, I could use... Um, oh, this is like really light. <laughs> okay, um, I could use like a touch-up. And I'm just going to put it on this area because I feel like... Um, well, if you can hear my sisters in the background, I'm sorry, but... I feel like I'm going to kind of put that on there and it looks crazy but that's what I'm going to do to kind of how that's going to work. I'm going to pump some of the Revlon on my back of my hand. 
Ooh, it's like so much different from the Lancome. It's so much watery. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to put that all over my face. And I'm just going to kind of start beating away. The color, it's not bad. I think it kind of went on really, actually, really well. What do you guys think? I hope this lighting does it justice. And it transfers pretty well. Not too bad. I'm going to use this um, concealer underneath the eyes. And we're just going to see how it goes. It's very light color. But we are going to see. Oh, there's tape on this too, isn't there? There is. They really tape down their stuff. Put this on the eye section and see what happens. Okay. It's a lot brighter than what I wanted it to be. So there's that, but we can make it work. So we're going to do that and we're going to put a little bit right here and right here. And then we're also going to put some right here. And then we're going to also go down the nose and put some right there. All right. So there's that. Beat my face until this looks good. Okay. Okay, so pretty much until I patted that into oblivion, this is kind of like the final product of like the concealer underneath my eyes and stuff. So yeah, what do you think? I think it turned out not too bad. It definitely had to, you had to work with this a good amount. But I think if I had gotten this in like maybe a darker shade, then I wouldn't have had to beat it so much into my face. But um, it's definitely workable and it works very well with the sponge. And so I believe I can still pull this off and wear it. Um, I wish I would have kind of used this one, but they're very much the same color. So I don't really think that it would be that much of a difference, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go into my Trusty Dusty Naked 2 palette, which I love so much. And I keep forgetting to put the brush back where it belongs. So I can't find it. So I'm going to go with a... Um, gonna go with the half baked which is oh my gosh oh which is this color that is the half baked color apply that all over the lid I'm going to try this eyeliner and not a huge fan of uh, pencil eyeliners, but we're going to just, we're actually going to try this one on this side and then the other one on the other side. This is in the other box on the other eye. And we're just going to kind of compare it. Man, they really shut these tight on these. And so we're going to do the other eye. The Maybelline eyeliner was more opaque but a little harder to put on the eye. I liked how it looked in the end though and the NYX eyeliner was way easier to apply but it was less opaque. Both eyeliners were pretty good but if you go to the store now you kind of know what you'll be getting. I prefer the NYX eyeliner so yeah. Okay so I pretty much like brushed everything away everything like that and this is pretty much the final product of all the, I'm um, just putting on a mascara real quick, 
This is pretty much the final product of the things that I purchased. Alright, so that's pretty much the products that I got. Um, I'm not going to do like the rest of my face or anything like that. I don't think it's necessary. But, I don't know. I kind of feel like this big stuff when I put it on, it kind of really grayed me out, like unnecessarily. So that's the thing. I'll tell you one thing. I really like the Revlon um, foundation. I thought that was pretty good. I liked the two eyeliners. It just depends on what I'm going for. And the concealer was okay. The two concealers were okay. I feel like I still probably will really like the Tarte one that I get at Sephora Ulta. Overall, I don't think these are bad products. If anyone else goes to the store and tries them out and um, likes them, then that's up to you guys. Like I said, I I wanted to try them because I just never really go for too much of uh, makeup that is in the store. I kind of like to save up my money and like get things that are like more of a higher brand. But honestly, like at the end of the day, I don't think this is bad at all. I would wear this out. I think it's really pretty. I think it's working for me and everything like that definitely probably could use some like different color on my lips to kind of like liven this up but anywho if you guys like this video and if you guys like the products or you would like to comment on the products that you've tried you've experienced already that i've just shown let me know don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Really good day, really good day, really good day, day, really good day, day, day. Feeling okay, feeling okay, okay. Sun is out and I'm feeling okay. Hope you have, you, you have, you, you have a really good day.